Hello folks, uh, what to do in the final 30 days? What should be the focus area in the final 30 days? Right? So I'm going to do this slightly differently. Right? So, so suppose this is how you have defined your cat preparation. Right? So cat preparation is in the, we'll put it in a circle. So your strategy for quant, strategy for LRDI, strategy for verbal uh, ways of increasing your reading stamina. A way of industry in increasing your speed in, 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 in solving and grabbing onto new ideas, uh, taking section tests, taking mocks, analyzing them, all of that sits inside this. And so, and this, this several months have gone into defining the boundaries of your preparation. And so, what I want to do is to shrink this and expand this. And so, both. And so, what I want to do first of all, I want to shrink this. And so, what was this should become this. What do I mean by that? And so increase the, the, the focus on specifics. Dump some topics, dump some things that don't work for you. Limit your preparation zone, your topics, subjects, ideas, everything. And so leave out some elements of preparation from now on. You can't afford to do one laid back. Uh, review of all things in, in, in percentages and profit and loss today. You take mark, you analyze that. So, so your time is at a premium. So every bunch of things in the boundaries of these preparation and a slow revision, a laid back reading of a book, uh, dive, deep diving into one idea of logical reasoning, thinking about um, uh, knowing what cat questions, uh, what cat patterns are, uh, have been there in the last 10 years, topic wise split listening to some expert giving some gyan, none of that. And so you have to limit your things, uh, reduce getting inputs from many people. And so now is the time where you own your preparation. What I'm speaking about here is clarity and not variety. Several things go into this big pot. Now we have got to say, okay, all of these things are there. I'm going to cleanse the boundaries of this and say, these are the things that are important for my last 30 days, take them and only them. You don't have the luxury of going on a nice ride. So uh, lots of confusing ideas come, lots of thoughts about doing different strategies for mocks come. Uh, cut out all of that. Cut out all of that. You can't afford to have uh, engagement into ideas, philosophies and thoughts and all of that, which are not directly impacting your cat preparation. And so limit the scope of your preparation. Absolutely. And so, uh, if you're not scoring more than 15, 18 marks in quant, then dump trigonometry, dump inequalities, dump functions, dump permutation probability, dump reminders, have focus on arithmetic, little bit of algebra, linear quadratic equation. You have to find a way to go to 23, 24 marks or 20, 21 marks. You don't need all of these boundary things. Dump them, shrink your scope, focus on that. If you're scoring really well, you're getting 80, 90, then forget all of this. Take mock, analyze mock, fill gap, be ready. And so shrink your preparation, the focus and clarity and uh, repeated method, methods in mocks, that is going to pay off. And then expand your variables. What do I mean by that? Um, stuff like your routines, stuff like sleep, food, digital junk, all of these become dramatically more important. In, in a few days, you'll know what slot the exam is going to be. Take subsequent mocks in that time slot so that you know your amp for performance in that window. Get seven to eight hours of sleep in a regular schedule, geared to your time slot for mock. Eat well, sleep, drink plenty of water. You cannot afford to fall sick. One, it will take away some time. Two, it increases the stress. On the day, finally, you have to optimize in a way where the anxiety is pushed out. Adrenaline aids you. And when the, the rush of going and having a crack at this feeds into one, one additional 10%. Right? So, and all of these are going to help with that. Digital junk is going to be a nightmare. You have to live like an absolute monk. You have to say, look, I'm not going to look at Instagram and Twitter, you don't, I'm not going to eat that extra piece of cake and pastry, I'm not going to touch ice creams. 
if my slot is the first slot from now on every day i'm waking up at 5 30 i'm going to sleep at 9 pm i'm not going to touch that wonderful video that my friend had forwarded about my favorite tv series i'm not going to watch cricket or football i'm not going to hang out with friends i'm not going to talk about the various maladies plaguing our nation and your nation wants you to contribute wants you to do really well be a good citizen and pay tons of taxes but you can stop and say look next four weeks i'm not thinking about all these problems and so don't don't uh, don't get diverted but include these variables most definitely and to don't think of your preparation as how much verbal have i done how much quant have i done how many puzzles have i solved think of your preparation as okay i got my seven and a half hours today good i had three square meals at the right times within one hour of what was my specific perfect time i was hydrated i took a walk i listened to some pleasant music for 15 minutes i read something for 20 minutes then went to sleep rather than doom scrolling and so i am not doing all this so one of those parts of uh, gyan and dispensing saying all of you do this without uh, holding myself to that standard i can go far i'm not writing this exam seriously i can have my fun so i'm i'm sorry to rub it in but i'm not holding myself to this standard but even i will wind down my schedule to be sync in sync with the, this exam a, a week 10 days before this but i want to take the exam really seriously even if i'm not doing worrying so much about my output and uh, outcome and performance so i have very little stake in the actual result but even i worry about my schedule and rhythm and sleep so you guys should be mm, obsessing over it is a strong word but very focused on it and so so do both of these shrink your syllabus your uh, your your zones of preparation uh, increase your focus clarity and have a beautiful vision of i will do this and not worry about this very important and then i'm not only preparing i'm optimizing myself i'll exercise well i'll have good walks i'll take nice deep breaths i'll figure out ways of handling my stress i'll breathe well eat well sleep well drink enough water have a nice routine fill in fall into a slip into a rhythm over the next two weeks and hang on to those rhythms for the life final two weeks so that i'm optimized for kick ass performance so both shrink and expand and so best wishes for kick